All right, it's the Complex Entertainment Group, music, tech, business, life. Apple just released M3 MacBook Pros and the iMac. All right, I'm specifically, uh, specifically getting into this for the, the MacBook Pro. I am a MacBook Pro user. I have the M1 Max. That's what I'm doing all my videos on, all my recording sessions, all of my uh, Reaper, everything. But the question is, is it needed? Like, does it make sense to jump from an M1 to an M3? So already what I'm doing with the M1 is phenomenal. Like I, I switched from the Intel to the M1. And again, now I'm primarily using Reaper as my main DAW. Even when I'm doing screen share or like, you know, recording the videos and you see everything happening, the buffer size on that with the M1, I don't go above, you know, 64. I'm I'm always keeping my buffer at, at 64. I drop down to 32 a couple times. It, it can still do it, um, but I get, you know, sometimes a little bit of um, a little pops here and there. So I just keep it at 64. But this makes me think that with the M3, I could probably drop all the way down to, to 16. That's That's almost like no latency. Like, let's be honest here. I'm doing that 64 buffer size with me recording videos on Camtasia all at the same time. And I'm not having any issues running Reaper. Like, okay, here it is. Let me scroll down here. Three giant leaps. Okay, e even if you went with the M3 base with the eight core CPU, 10 core GPU, 24, Gigabytes unified RAM. I mean, I think all that's great. But again, this is the area. I, I try to future proof everything. That's just me. But to then jump up, because right now I think I'm at 10 cores. So if, to go up to 16 with 40 GPU and 128 gigabytes unified unified memory. Whew. Now check this. It says this is up, up to 80% faster CPU from the 16 inch macbook pro with the m1 max chip like 80 percent faster i'm assuming they're talking about base to base just to be fair and like for anybody who really want to get more specs or or details or an in-depth comparison on just how well uh, reaper was running with the m1 max chip i'll leave a link in the description i say go check out uh, James Zahn's video from a year or so, a couple years back now, as he was going over the M1 Max and really running it through the ringers through for Reaper. Like, this is a really good video. Um, I would say go back and check it out. I'll try to leave a card or definitely a link in the description. But check this out so you can get a sense of just how well it was running and how efficiently it was going on the M1. I had to stop using ozone so much on Reaper because that thing killed my my CPU, especially just running it obviously on the the master bus. So I tried to switch to more um, more efficient mastering plugins. But I, ozone was definitely always one that was eating up my CPU. But I'm wondering then with an M3 if again a lot of that would go away. I definitely will be looking into this more. Um, pretty excited about this new M3 chip. Makes me like, oh my God. Uh, I, again, I don't, I know I don't need it, but it definitely makes you kind of want it and at least, you know, kind of eyeball what they're doing here. Um, maybe it'd be a nice Christmas gift. You never know. So I'm not going to drag out this video. I'm just pretty excited for the, the new MacBook Pro with the M3 chip. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Are you even considering, you know, the M3 chip for music production? Which DAW are you using? Um, again, Reaper, I'm getting good performance. But appreciate your time. Check you out next time. Peace. Yes. Complex.